Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Teslagrad. This time we are in a mysterious deep dark room with these guys in it, the Grues. And we get boots. Super useful. Press up. That's pretty cool. Now it does have a cooldown with no indicator, but that's about how long it is. Oh jeez, that was close. Alright, that's not the way we're supposed to go. Okay, that didn't quite work out. I'm gonna need to... Oh jeez, alright. So, great success. Whoops. Let's try doing that right this time. Hmm. It's hard to gauge exactly how far I go. Oh jeez, alright. Oh, I thought I had it. He was a little too close. This is actually much more difficult than I remember. And I keep jumping where I shouldn't. There we go. That was all just to get back out. But now we've got teleporty boots, and that is pretty kick-ass, I have got to admit. This is an interesting form of platforming, definitely. Oop. Now, why we did that is this is a magnet door. Kind of works like that. And so I guess if we're going this way, we'd have to activate the top one, but coming in, we've got this right here. So that's pretty cool. We've got these, uh, magnetically charging flowers, explain how they work, and some lightning bugs, what's that up, oh jeez, I can't see anything now, try that again, doesn't work too well, alright, come on, this is actually really hard, because I can't see, at all. I'm sure if I could, it would be easy, but can't. Oh, damn it. I keep not seeing that until too late. This is a little frustrating, though. I don't have any chance to show off the cool magnetic, uh, just features. Well, haven't so far. I'm about to. That is pretty cool, you gotta admit. And now, crush him. That's another card for, uh, this. Another one of these. But we can't get to it. There is a trick to it, but I don't think we can solve that yet, so... We'll just have to be coming, damn it, just have to come back to it. So yeah, that's what I was talking about with really interesting platforming. Because it's like, you gotta zap across that gap. I don't know. It's neat. I like it. Don't hate. I see you hating over there. I think the plot in this game is actually really great, but it's explained in a very roundabout way that we haven't gotten to at all, so it's a little hard to get into it, since you don't know what I'm talking about, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Wow, alright, thought I was going to die there. Ooh, almost. 
and I'm just doing so well. There we go. Now we got card number four, the Druze. And it looks like the morning symbol at the top is highlighted, or the night symbol here is highlighted. It also has different symbols in the top right. I don't really know, like, much about how the cards work. I've just looked at the pictures. Don't judge me, I'm apparently illiterate. Oop, all right, shouldn't have uh, done the warp there. That was stupid. If I hadn't, I would have gotten through that. Well, live and learn. So yeah, magnets. I'm not really sure how I become magnetic, but I don't mind. Seems useful. Oh, well, alright. Let's try that again with less dying this time. There we go. Perfect. Not really sure where we're going. Here, apparently. Let me check the map. Uh, oh, alright, well this is the plot I was talking about. So that's convenient, let's go look at that. Hold on, what's this? Alright. So, once upon a time, there was a town, I guess, with birds. I'm just gonna kinda let this happen. Okay, so, guy in a blue robe is him a mysterious weapon. With the powers of electromagnetism. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how they did that with puppets. Alright, and then that'll loop. Which no one cares about. Um, but... What's interesting about that is the blue robed guys. Because you may remember that when we were carried to that house, the uh, person who was presumably our father, oh, almost, had a blue robe. I think that's probably connected. And there were the uh, blue robed corpses outside of this very castle. And wow, there is a painting on the ceiling that I didn't see. That's pretty cool. There we go, got it. And another card. This one is way down here. There we go. At the very end. Alright, blue robe. And a man and a woman that look kind of familiar. And a baby. Hmm. So yeah, that's a thing I like about this game. Is uh, it has... A really cool plot that it actually reveals in two totally different ways. Alright, we've been here. We don't want to be there. We don't want to be at the next one up. This one. Damn. Alright. Cool, okay, this is what we want. Now we have to ride it up. So yeah, the magnetics in this game get super cool. Just because they get kind of...
kind of weird. I got no buns. Shit, I'm gonna lose them all. Okay, now I have to go up one more. Oh, come on. I screwed this up. Let's try again. Not all the puzzles are super easy. Which is good. It's sort of the point of a puzzle. Alright, we can just push them over here ourselves. That's great. That's great. Ride it on up. Turn that red. Now we want this one a little further over to the side so we can actually uh, get where we're going. The reason we did that was to get another card, number 12, and be able to get out. Which we can. Perfect. Hmm. Two ways to go. Well, neither looks particularly more important. Let's look at that card, though. Here we go. A uh, guy with tanks and a uh, golden wrench legged bird. With the knight symbol highlighted and what looks like a globe in the top corner. No idea what the relevance is. Let's go this way. Oh, jeez, this fucking room. This is really hard. I'm gonna screw it up a whole lot. Let's go the other way. <laughs> I hate that room so much. Hey, another one of these. That's great. Okay. A little more industry going on. Um, King dude and blue robe dude. He wants to conquer. Blue robe dude seems a little disappointed. Talk to the hand. And break down two warring factions. The Omega Thunderbolts and the Laurel Thunderbolts. Alright. And so... The so blue robes over here are building the tower that looks like the tower we're in. Well, meanwhile, Angry King Dude seems to be going conquer it. No, has he been struck by a case of the morals? Or does he think that the blue robes killed all his men in some roundabout way? I don't know. Why have I just raised those? You're about to find out. To be honest, I hadn't really realized how many of these cards I've just sort of started instinctively finding. Let's look at that one. I didn't catch the number. Oh, hey. Alright. Uh, so it looks like the morning, noon, and night might be progressions in shorter story arcs. These ones both have the Omega symbol. And that is Mr. Blue Robe, dude. Casting a magnetically powered spell over me to defeat the king. I don't know how that works. But, uh, believe it. Alright, oh geez, okay, I screwed that up. Let's try that again. Alright, not quite. No, we gotta, oh, we gotta do this again. Bullshit. Okay, not what I was going for. 
Whatever, we, do, we just need to get to the top. We don't need to do the whole thing with the two parts this time, so we can just take this here and turn it blue. All right. Now we gotta do this room. It's gonna take me a few tries. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. It'll happen. Uh, but probably in the next episode, because we just hit 15 minutes. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time on Teslagrad.